That's a six with 12 zeros behind it. Hello, I am Min Kang. Welcome to Kang Knows, a new series of videos sharing surprising facts from interesting topics. Today, I'm going to share some surprising facts about space. Number one, do you know how big the sun is? The answer is that the sun is 300,000 times larger than the earth. Quite hard for you to imagine, right? Simply speaking, if the earth was at the size of a pea, the sun would be as big as a large beach ball, and the moon that we all love would fit perfectly on a pinhead. Number two. How long do footprints last on the moon? Can you guess it? Yes, forever! The answer is that very high chances that it can last forever. But why? The first footprints put on the moon will probably be there a long, long time. Maybe almost as long as the moon itself lasts. Unlike on Earth, there's no erosion by wind or water on the moon because it has an atmosphere and all of the water on the surface is as frozen as ice. Also, there's no volcanic activity on the moon to change the lunar surface features. Nothing gets washed away and nothing gets folded back inside. Amazing! If Kang has a chance to visit the moon, Kang's footprints can be there forever. Worth a try. Number three. I do believe we have heard about the word light year and space objects. We use light years to describe astronomical distance. Quite surprising, right? Normally, we heard the base unit of length was meter, and year is for the time. In space, a light year is the distance that light travels in one Earth year. One light year is about 6 trillion miles, or 9 trillion kilometers. That's a six with 12 zeros behind it. Wow. Number four. The champion of the largest and highest mountain of our solar system belongs to Olympus Mon not our dear Mount Everest. This is an enormous huge volcano on Mars. The volcano has a height of over 21.9 kilometers. Olympus Mons is about two and a half times of another famous front on Earth. It's Mount Everest. Number five. Laika was the first animal in space and the first animal to orbit the Earth. She was a stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow, selected to be the occupant of the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2 that launched into low orbit on the 3rd of November, 1957. The dog gave her life for her country after a very short time in space. Sad story. Six. Venus is often referred to as Earth's sister planets because of the various things they have in common. For example, both planets reside within our Sun's habitable zone. In addition, Earth and Venus are also terrestrial planets, meaning they are primarily composed of metals and silicate rock. There are different shades between the metallic core and the silicate mantle and crust. Beyond that, Earth and Venus are course also not be more different. In two ways which they are in stark contrast is the time it takes for the sun to rise, set, and return to the same place in the sky. In Earth's case, the process takes a full 24 hours. But in Venus's case, the slow rotation and orbit means that a single day lasts as long as 106.75 Earth days. Interesting. Number 7. Saturn 
could float if you find a big enough body of water for it. Saturn is very large and the second largest planet in the solar system. However, it is made up mostly of gas and is less dense than water. Since it is lighter than water, it can float on it. None of the other planets in our solar system can do this because they have a higher density than water. Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets, which means that it does not weigh as much for size than the other planets do. Number 8 Is there a diamond planet? Yes, it's true. The alien planet, a so-called super-Earth, is called 55 Cancri E and was discovered in 2004 around the nearby star in our Milky Way galaxy. It is an extremely hot planet with a surface of mostly graphite, surrounding a thick layer of diamond, so regretfully, none of us can visit them. Number 9 the coldest planet in our solar system is Uranus, with mean degree is about minus 195 degrees Celsius. It is the seventh planet from the Sun. It has the third largest planetary radius and the fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. The atmosphere of this planet is similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's in its primary composition of hydrogen and helium but it contains more ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, along with traces of other hydrocarbons. Extremely cold, no one can survive and live in Uranus. Number 10. Skylab was the first United States space station launched by NASA, occupied for about 24 weeks between May 1973 and February 1974. It was operated by three separate three astronaut crews, Skylab 2, Skylab 3, and Skylab 4. Major operations included an orbital workshop, a solar observatory, an observation of Earth, and hundreds of experiments. I wishes to have a chance to visit Skylab in person. Wow, it would be a very remarkable trip for me. Here is the end of today's knowledge sharing. What's the next surprise? Look forward to it. See you in the next episode. Ten Knows, a home of knowledge. Bye!